24-7 Fusion Media. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And I have always been a huge fan of the X-Files. I own the seasons. I own the video game. I even have X-Files comic books. Hell, even have uh, David Deconi and uh, Gillian Anderson's autograph. And they both autographed it, Scully and Mulder. So... I love the X-Files and I know that as of recent years in the last what five years or so that they've released some of these uh, newer X-Files and to be honest they haven't been that great you know it just surprises me how um, they always end up with the the smoking man you know getting uh, Scully pregnant I, I, I don't I don't know what's going on with all that but <laughs> I was actually surprised when I was looking to see, you know, what new things that I can do videos on. And I seen this. The X-Files creator Chris Carter gave Ryan Coogler's reboot his blessing. When I saw that title, I was like, blessings for what? And as I scrolled, I have came to this. The X-Files creator Chris Carter has been an integral component of the series in all the iterations over the last few decades. And with the Black Panther director Ryan Coogler set to revive the cake on the material, Carter confirmed he has given the project his blessing. The, film, the, film, the filmmaker admitted that since the Walt Disney Company owned the rights to the franchise, Coogler and company didn't have to seek approval to reimagine the material. Though that he will serve as a cheerleader and support whatever form the new project takes. Even without seeking Carter's approval, he admitted that he was honored that he was contacted at all about the project. So basically we're getting a reboot of the X-Files and it's gonna be done by Black Panther director, Ryan Coogler. I don't even know what to even think of all this what is the new iteration of the x-files supposed to look like it's one of those things that if it's not scully and Mulder, then who is it basically i have to ask the question like what are we doing here do you think x-files can sit there and be rebooted and to have the same impact that it had before <sighs> i don't know about that looks like uh chris carter also said I'm not supposed to be talking about it, according to Disney, but I'll tell you, yes, I've had a conversation with him. Yes, he likes to go with a diverse cast, and he's got some good ideas Carter shared with the rap about whether he has spoken to Coogler about the project. In regards to whether he'll get involved in the project in any capacity, he confirmed, I wouldn't. Only as a cheerleader, they don't need my blessing. 20th Century Fox and Disney owns the show. They are free to do with it what they believe. I'm honored that they came to me and asked me not for my permission, but for my blessing. The X-Files premiered in 1993, starring David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson as special FBI agents tasked with investigating seemingly paranormal cases that the rest of the Bureau might not be Equipped to exploring, the series earned a total of 11 seasons with two feature films while also pivoting into other mediums to continue to explore the worlds of these characters like video games, comic books, etc, etc. The show also inspired the spin-off The Lone Gunman, which was alright. I like The Lone Gunman, I own that series. And while not initially conceived off as a spin-off, Carter's TV series Millennium would ultimately cross over with the X-Files. Yeah, I knew that. As far as whether Carter will watch the new take on the material merely as a fan, he confirmed, sure, yeah, I'm curious. It's not the easiest show to write because of the subject matter. It's not like Law and Order where you have the crime of the week. You have to imagine what if, and that what if is oftentimes hard to tackle. Fewer details about the upcoming X-Files have been revealed, so it's unknown when audience can expect the project to be released. So, there you have it. 
Chris Carter met with Ryan Coogler, gave him his blessing. They talked about some of the stuff that's going to be happening. And it looks like the, <laughs> the X-Files is going to have a diverse cast. What does that mean? <laughs> I could only imagine, but I just don't know what that means at this point. Are we seeing uh, the next generation of the X-Files? Are we seeing a brand new Scully and Mulder? Will uh, Gillian Anderson and uh, David uh, Duchovny, will they be uh, asked to come back to reprise their role as Scully and Mulder while introducing the new generation of the X-Files? Who fucking knows? But I'm going to be honest with you. The fact that Disney owns this shit and what they're going to do with it is basically make it all diverse and probably woke then um uh, yeah i'm not too happy to hear what the fuck's going on with the x-files i'm just being real with y'all i love the x-files and i just can't see it being done any other way except for chris carter getting off his lazy ass and having real fucking stories told for Scully and Mulder than them always ending up with the fucking cancer man, a uh, cigarette man, or whatever the fuck you want to call him. Fuck all that. They need some new shit. If he can pull that off and come within the depths of what the X-Files was built on and come with some new shit, man, fucking ask uh, Scully and Mulder to come back. Do the X-Files again. I think Ryan Coogler is going to fuck it up. You know, what do I know? We have yet to see it, but that's my take and that's how I feel. You guys let me know what you think about Ryan Coogler rebooting the X-Files in the comment section below. Do you think it's a good idea? you think it'll be whack as fuck? <laughs> like I said, please let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And as always, it's your boy 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media and I'm out. Peace.